answers from as far as the eye can see to as close as the ground you're spinning on. From science and literature to history, math, and beyond. This is Academically. I'm Clark Anthony. Welcome to more Academic League action here on ITV. We are featuring teams from the Metro Division, the Metro League in this particular match. An interesting thing, however, is we have one really pretty small school and one very, very big school. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out. We'll meet the uh, coaches in the starting lineup and we'll be underway. Kelly, come on over here. The coach for Victory Christian Academy is Kelly Conan, and in addition to coaching Academic League, Kelly is the high school science teacher. Yes, right. All subjects. She also is a cross country coach, and she's a school's guidance counselor. And knowing what I know a little bit about your family, are you the guidance counselor at home as well? Absolutely, definitely. How many people in your family? I have five children. Two are graduates of Victory Christian Academy, and I have three that are currently attending. And you have one on the team you're about to introduce. And somehow in the middle of all of that, you earned a new degree? Yes, I just recently earned my master's degree from Arizona State University, specializing in uh, curriculum and instruction with gifted students. Most of the students that play academically, we always say, well, they're overachievers. I think this case, the coach is also an overachiever. So congratulations. Introduce your starting lineup from left to right for us, please. So first we have Alicia Porras. Alicia's favorite subject is science. She's one of our 12th graders here. She enjoys spending time with her family and uh, she also likes to go to the gym. She wants to attend medical school to become a dermatologist and she will be attending Cal State East Bay in the fall. And then next to her, we have another senior, Mark Santillan. He is a um, Active with football and basketball at Victory Christian Academy. His favorite subject is history. He loves basketball, shoe, so shoe shopping, and Zumba. Um, he will be studying, hopefully, engineering in college in the fall and attending San Diego State University. He got the acceptance letter today. Yay. Um, in the center, we have our team captain, Eric Cheer, he is also a 12th grade student at Victory Christian Academy. His favorite subject is Computer Center. He ran cross country and plays volleyball. He enjoys building guitars, cooking, and playing music. He'll be majoring in network engineering in college this fall. Next to Eric, we have Elizabeth Conan. She is a junior. Her favorite subject is science. She runs cross country, plays softball, and enjoys baking and playing the cello. She wants to be a nurse practitioner and hopes to work in pediatrics. Next to Elizabeth, we have Gabriel Gherkin. Gabe is also an, a, a junior at Victory Christian Academy. His favorite subjects are science and technology. He runs cross country, he plays volleyball, he's an Eagle Scout, and he likes helping others. He plans to major in computer science in college. How many students do you have in the high school? We currently have 88 students enrolled in 9th through 12th grade at Victory Christian Academy. Good luck to you and the team. You take your spot over there. You. Steve, come on over here. Steve Van Wick is the coach from Patrick Henry High School. Come just a little bit closer. There we go. And how many students do you have at Patrick Henry, roughly? About 2,500. Okay, so obviously there's there's the giant and you know that we were talking about. Uh, Steve teaches English. How long have you been at Henry? I've been at Henry for four years. Four years now. Okay. In addition to academic league, he is in charge of guitar club. Do your students know about the the band that you were so famous with many years ago? Um, not necessarily. They're not really into instrumental music, so there's no singing, and some of them are interested, but. But, but the, the Surf Report was the original group, right? Yes, Surf Report. That was my first band, and uh, we toured the state. We went to Las Vegas once, but it was pretty small. I think your, your albums are still available at Tower Records, I think, if we could just find that place. Anyway, uh, realizing that we want to get into the competition as quickly as possible, could you briefly introduce uh, your starting lineup from left to right for my us? My pleasure. In the first seat is True Nguyen. She's a senior. Her favorite subjects are history, especially art history, biology, and most recently, English. 
extracurricular activities. And in addition to leading the Academic League Club on campus as president, True is an active member of her school's NJROTC Navy League team, which will be competing at nationals hosted in Pensacola, Florida. True is also a member of the San Diego Unified School District Joint JROTC Brigade leadership and helps to run JROTC events hosted in the district. During her free time, a rare precious occurrence, True enjoys journaling, painting, crocheting, and exploring the city with friends. Her college aspirations, she's committed to the University of Pennsylvania's College of Arts and Sciences under the major of Health and Societies. She hopes to attend medical school in the future and work for the World Health Organization or Center for Disease Control. Next to her is Theo Schenk, senior, his favorite subject, history and languages. While the rest of you are partying, Theo studied the blade. He does, not, he does competitive fencing and likes to think he's rather good at it despite all evidence to the contrary. <laughs> When not fencing or studying, Theo also likes to mod video games, a topic that he wrote several essays on already and would rather not explain in depth again. Thank you very much. Theo wants to study history and political science in college. Beyond that, he could see a future as a foreign service officer working for the State Department with the obvious caveat that nothing is set in stone. Who knows what tomorrow may bring? Jack Ryan, in the next seat, is the captain. He's a senior. Favorite subject, history, geography, fine art, literature, folk music, political science, philosophy, talking good, and economics. His extracurricular activities are, he's the first and foremost, he's an avid orator. In fact, he takes the opportunity to talk whenever or whatever the situation, whether people are listening or not. It should therefore be of no surprise that Jack splits his club loyalty between Academic League and Patrick Henry's model UN club which just so happens to be the largest concentration of long-winded people on our campus. Following in his family tradition, Jack is also a recreational golfer, a characteristic our team is intimately familiar with, considering his propensity to compare literally, literally everything in life to a round of the gentleman's game. <laughs> Jack is currently seeking to pursue a career in civil service through the intelligence community. In that vein, Jack aspires to complete a four-year degree in political science and anal analytics. Next is Andrew Gordon, 11th grader. His favorite subjects are history and chemistry. Extracurricular activities include scouting, where he is working to finish his Eagle Scout badge and take an active role in building and developing character throughout the troop. He is also a member of the school's NJROTC program, where he compete, compete in Cyber Patriot orienteering and athletic competitions that help to keep him an active and balanced student in the community. His college aspirations are to attend Stanford University, pursue a chemical engineering degree that he can use in his application to the nuclear officer candidate program for the Navy. Through this program, he could commission in the Navy upon graduation and work toward completing nuke school and use those skills to the service of the nations. And finally, in the last seat is Ethan Retton, grade 11. His history and chemistry is his favorite subjects. He loves to work on his car and walk his dog. And there's nothing better than coming home from a long day at school than to see his dog the size of a small bear run up to him. It always brings joy to his day whenever he sees him. And his uh, aspirations are he's undecided on what to study and where he wants to attend college. Hopefully that changes as he learns more. But as of right now, all his doors are open. And at this point in your life, your college aspirations are? To pay off my student loans. Good. Well done. Good luck to you and the team. And let's get underway and introduce Mark Hines, who is our moderator for this match. Should be an exciting one. Mark teaches world history at Muirlands Middle School in La Jolla. He's also been both city and county teacher of the year. He's a surfer, a gardener, and he's also the San Diego City Schools Academic League Commissioner. Thank you, Clark. You know, looking at the scoreboard, I thought the New England Patriots were here with us today, but I see it's not. We'll start the clock at 30 minutes and with the first toss-up. This is the result of a, after a pint of donated blood has had its fibrinogens, that means its red blood cells, its white blood cells, and its clotting factor removed from it. What five-letter word describes, we go to victory. Plasma. No, I'm sorry. Uh, what five-letter word describes what is left in the blood that includes antibodies, hormones, and electrolytes? No answer. Serum. Serum is the answer for that. The friends Nadir and Zurga sing a friendship duet in this composer's The Pearl Fishers, an opera set in Ceylon. Zuniga issues an arrest order near a cigarette factory in this composer's most famous work, which contains a habanera and toreador song. Name this French composer of the opera Carmen. His name is Bizet. 
<coughs> next toss up for either team is math. In square root form, give the link of, of the vector between the origin and the point 7, comma, negative 2, comma, 4. That answer is root 69. This mission's 27-ton service module provided oxygen, water, and electricity and propulsion to the crew while its command module included a heat shield to keep its astronauts from burning up on re-entry. Its emblem was a bald eagle with an olive branch in its claws. Landing on the moon, give... Henry. Apollo 11? Yes, Apollo 11. For your bonus, a rectangle centered at the origin is six units long and four units tall. Give the coordinates of each of these corners of the rectangle after the stated dilation. For each bonus part, begin again from the original rectangle. The first one, top corner right after a dilation of three. What do we got, folks? Is that two, three? We have our answer. I defer to true. Um, six comma twelve. No, I'm sorry, nine comma six. Your next one, bottom left corner after a dilation of one half. Uh, I'm gonna defer. We have our answer. I defer to true. One comma one point five. Yes. Uh, no, I'm sorry, negative one point five comma negative one. Bottom right corner after a dilation of four. Uh, we have our answer. I defer to true. Eight, eight comma negative twelve. I'm sorry, twelve comma negative eight would have been that answer. And we'll go to the next toss-up for either team. American poet poet Stephen Vincent Benet won a Pulitzer Prize in 1929 for telling the story of the Civil War and including the tale of what abolitionist who was hanged in 1859? Patrick Henry. Uh, John Brown. Yes, good. For your bonus, identify these agencies within the United States Department of Transportation from their acronyms. A, FAA. FAA. Aviation Administration. Administration. We have our answer. The Federal Aviation Agency. No, I'm sorry. Federal Aviation Administration would have been that one. Next one would be NHTSA. National, National Highway Travel Security Agency. Um, we have our answer. I defer to Theo. National Highway Travel Security Agency. No, I'm sorry. National Highway was right. Traffic Safety Administration. Oh, okay. And your last one, FRA. FRA. Okay. Something road. Freeways, road. Yeah. Freeways and roads. Um, we have our answer. Freeways and road administration. No, I'm sorry. Federal Rail oh. Administration. Oh. Okay. And we'll go to the next toss-up. Though explorer David Livingston was looking for the source of the Nile River, he actually mapped much of this river instead in the late 1800s. And we go to Patrick Henry. Congo. No, I'm sorry. I'll continue for you, Victory. The countries of Angola, Zambia, Namibia, Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique all contain part of what major African river most famous for its Victoria Falls? To uh, Victory, please. The Ganges. I'm sorry, Zambezi River would have been that answer. And we will continue on. In 2019, this company changed its charitable giving to exclude both the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and the Salvation Army because of their opposition to same-sex marriage. Name this southern fast food chain to victory. Chick-fil-A. Yes. Name these biblical prophets associated with animals. While sailing for uh, Tarshish, this prophet to Nivena agrees to be thrown overboard after which he is swallowed by a great fish. My boy. <laughs> we have our answer. Jonah. Yes. In 1 Kings 17, this prophet, eventually taken into heaven in a whirlwind, is fed by ravens during a long drought. Elijah or Elijah? Go with Elijah. We have our answer. Elijah. That's correct. This prophet was told to get seven pairs of birds for his ark, not just one. Yes. Noah. We have our answer. Noah. Yes, good. All are correct. Thank you. Uh, 
Next toss-up, it has freezing and boiling points, both slightly higher than its normal version. In spite of its name, the mass of its molecules isn't changed very much when compared with standard H2O. Give this adjective for non-radioactive water whose hydrogen atoms have been replaced by deuterium atoms that each have a neutron in the nucleus. And we go to victory. Heavy water? Yes, heavy water. Your bonus will be math. A sports league has 16 teams. Calculate the maximum number of games needed to determine a league champion if all 16 teams play a single elimination tournament. We have our answer. I defer to Mark. Eight. I'm sorry, 15 would be that answer. Double elimination tournament? We have our answer. Seven. I'm sorry, 31. And last round robin tournament where everyone plays everyone else, everyone plays everyone else exactly once. We have our answer. I defer to Mark. 16. No, I'm sorry. 120 would be that answer. And we'll go back to the toss-ups. Built by the carpenter Epias, it had a mountainous bulk and planks of fur. Warned against by Cassandra, it was left behind when a group of soldiers sailed away to the island of Tenedos. Name this object of myth that contained Greek warriors who came out of it. And we go to Patrick Henry. Trojan horse. Yes, the Trojan horse. Named for a British ship that studied the oceans in the late 1800s, this area is about as wide as several New England states combined and almost seven miles under the ocean's surface. Give the two-word name for this deepest known area of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Guam. Marianas Trench. Uh, we have our answer, the Marianas Trench. No, I'm sorry, Challenger Deep. That area is at the southernmost end of this deepest trench in any ocean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have our answer, the Marianas Trench. There you go. In 2019, the Five Deeps expedition visited Challenger Deep and claimed to have gone deeper than anyone, a claim fought by this director of Titanic and Avatar, who's yeah, been to the area James himself. James Cameron. Cameron. guy. We have our answer, James Cameron. Yes. And 20 on the bonus. Just making sure. For other team, the Mount of Shards catacomb in this city was a wonder of the Middle Ages, while the Coptic Orthodox Church is led by a patriarch of this city. After serving as Egypt's capital for centuries, Patrick Henry. Alexandria. Yes. For your bonus, Josiah Willard Gibbs first described his free energy in 1863. Gibbs' free energy is part of this branch of physics concerned with heat, pressure, and volume. We have our answer, thermodynamics. Good. This quantity, often defined mm -hmm. as the integral part of pressure with respect to volume, is also internal energy plus or minus the heat transferred. Enthalpy? I'm, I'm going to defer to you for that. Entropy. Entropy? Entropy. 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 Uh, we have our answer, entropy. Actually, it's just called work. What? Pressure, volume, and Gibbs free energy are this type of function that doesn't depend on how equilibrium is reached. No, non-conservative? Oh, no, no, not that. The pressure is ideal, right? No, I don't like um, that. We have our answer, non-ideal. No, I'm sorry, state function. State would have been the answer on that. And back to the toss-ups. A cholera bacterium has one of these, while other bacteria may have one at each end or a tangle of them to allow movement in a single direction. And we go to victory. Flagella. Yes. Name these British female authors from their works. A. Mansfield Park and North and Jarabi. We have our answer. Yes. Jane Eyre. I'm sorry, no, Jane Austen. Oh. The Silkworm and Career of Evil, written under the pen name Robert Galbraith. We have our answer. Jane Eyre. I'm sorry, J.K. Rowling would have been that one. Really? Wolf Hall and its sequel, Bring Up the Bodies. Go three for three. Yes. Jane Eyre. We have our answer. Uh, we have our answer, Jane Eyre. Hillary Mantel would have been that answer. Thank you. For other team, the object used in this sport's official games weighs 175 grams, making it easier to throw. Its players cannot move when holding the object used in this game, and turnovers occur whenever someone throws the object to victory. 
rugby. No, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, can occur whenever someone throws that object out of bounds and away from a teammate. Name this sport a combination of soccer, football, and basketball, where points are scored by catching a frisbee in an end zone. Patrick Henry. Ultimate frisbee? Ultimate frisbee, yes. <laughs> Answer these questions for your bonus about the history of the uh, city of Salt Lake. Okay. Shortly after Utah pioneers arrived there, many others came through on their way to this state to find gold. California. California, yes. Um, wait, we're absolutely sure? Yes. All right, California. We have our answer, California. Yes. All right. This adjective was the first word in Salt Lake City's name until 1868. Great. 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 All right, uh, we have our answer, great. Yes, great. Salt Lake hosted the Winter Olympics in this year. Oh. 90s, 70s, 92. We have our answer, 92. I'm sorry, 2002 would have been that answer. Oh. And back to the tossers. <laughs> this character's father almost named him Drum, or C Sharp, made fun of him because he looks like actor Henry Fonda and prompted him, uh, pro excuse me, promoted to his rank only by a computer glitch. And we go to Patrick Henry. Major, major. Yes, I can take anywhere from one to four majors. So major, major works. <laughs> Your bonus will be with math. Dividing the polynomial 2x cubed plus x squared minus 41x plus 20 by the quantity x plus 5 gives the quotient ax squared plus bx plus c. Give the value of a. Two. 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 We have our answer, two. Correct. Now please give the value of B. Six. We have our answer, six. No, I'm sorry, negative nine. And now we'll ask you for C, please. Negative 41. We have our answer, negative 41. No, I'm sorry, four would have been that answer. And we'll go back to the toss-ups, but stay with math. Find the derivative of the expression e squared x sine 3x. The answer is a long one. 3e squared x cosine 3x plus 2e 2x sine 3x. So we'll continue. He lost power after trying to annex Kagira from neighboring Tanzania, which forced him into exile in Saudi Arabia. This man overthrew former President Milton Obote, who called this man, quote, the greatest brute an African mother has ever brought to life. Can you name this 1970s dictator called the Butcher of Uganda, who was the subject of the film The Last King of Scotland? His name was Idi Amin or Idi Amin Dada. Said to have been commissioned by the Medici family, this painting is set on an island of Cyprus, often discussed along with its Renaissance painter's other works, Primavera. What Botticelli masterpiece? We go to Patrick Henry. Birth of Venus. That's right. There you go. Yeah, For your Thomas, bonus, Thomas. literature, the last of his last three major works is called Teacher Man and tells about his experience as an English teacher in New York City public schools. Name this author of the Pulitzer Prize winning memoir, Angela's Ashes. Jack Kerouac? I don't know. Uh, we have our answer, Jack Kerouac. I'm sorry, Frank McCourt. Of Part of McCourt's terrible childhood came about because his family left New York during the Depression and went back to this country where his parents were born. <coughs> Jack Kerouac? No, no not Germany. Germany. No, say Ireland. We have our answer, Ireland. Yes. Oh. He wrote the book for a musical show about Irish music, including a song by this band whose current concert tour celebrates the past album, The Joshua Tree. Oh, oh you, you too. 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 We have our answer. You too. Correct. All right. And we'll take a short break and be right back. We're back after a brief time out for victory. The score is Patrick Henry 145, victory Christian 50. We still have almost half the match left, 14 minutes, 41 seconds. Team captain from victory. Eric, please tell us who's just come on board for victory. We have substituted Alicia for Paul. I think you mean you've substituted Paul for Alicia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. You look like a Paul. We're glad you're here. We'll start the clock and keep going. 
for other teams said to have been commissioned by, I'm sorry, I already read that. <clears throat> a deficiency of this in the body may result in rickets, a condition causing misshapen bones or even osteoporosis. Victory. Calcium. No, I'm sorry, and I'll continue. Identify this vitamin added, added to most milk these days that helps absorb calcium and is also obtained by exposure to sunlight. To Patrick Henry. Vitamin D. That's right, D. Name these government officials who testified at the House impeachment proceedings in the fall of 2019. A, the opening statement of the United States ambassador to the European Union didn't mention President Trump's statement that he wanted no quid pro quo from Ukraine that came out only under questioning. Gordon Sondland. Gordon Sondland. I'm going to defer to you, Theo. Uh, we have our answer. I defer to Theo. Gordon Sondland. That's right. This lieutenant colonel who speaks Russian and Ukrainian said he knew nothing about any of the Biden family's alleged involvement in Ukraine while Joe Biden was vice president. Uh, we have our answer. I defer to Theo. Vinben. Yes, good. This acting U.S. ambassador to Ukraine said no one in Ukraine knew Ivanovich. that military aid was being withheld from Ukraine in the summer of 2019. Ivanovich. Acting, so I'm not sure. Ivanovich. All right. We have our answer. Ivanovich. No, I'm sorry. Bill Taylor would have been that answer. So we'll give you 20 on the bonus and we'll keep going. This term can describe a double strand of DNA in which the nucleotides of one strand are in reverse order of its complementary strand. What word is also a literary device in which a word, phrase, or sentence reads exactly the same backwards to victory? Palindrome. Yes. <clears throat> For your bonus, <clears throat> plants like apples and pears whose fruits cover their seeds are known as angiosperms. Name the type of plant whose seeds are not covered by fruit. Gynosperms. All right. We have our answer. Gynosperms. No, I'm sorry. Gymnosperms would have been that answer. Next, the largest group of gymnosperms, the sperms include trees whose seeds are gathered into a single object. Coconut trees. We have our answer. Pine trees. I can accept that. Any type of conifer was accepted. The nuts of this Asian gymnosperm, sometimes called the maidenhair tree, are popular as food in China. Its fan-shaped leaves are often used in medicine. Fern. They say fern. We have our answer. Fern? I'm sorry, ginkgo would have been that answer. And we'll go back to the toss-ups. It stayed in Constantinople for about 200 years before coming to Paris permanently through the efforts of Crusader King Louis IX. Successfully rescued after the Notre Dame fire in 2019, what pointy religious relic is said to have been placed on the head of Jesus before he was Patrick Henry? The crown of thorns. Yes. I thought it was the last one. <clears throat> Answer these about Soviet composer Sergei, Sergei Prokofiev. He wrote a satirical opera called The Love of Three of This Fruit. It's an apple. It's always apple. It's the apple. All right. We have our answer. Apple. Uh, close. Orange. Uh -huh. <laughs> His music for a version of this ballet includes sections called The Sister's New Clothes and The Morning After the Ball. Interpret it. Swan Lake. It's the only one we know. Swan Lake. We have our answer. Swan Lake. I'm sorry, Cinderella. Oh. He wrote a symphonic suite named for this year when Germany broke its World War II pact and attacked 39. the Soviet no, 41. Union. 41. Attack, yeah, yeah, 41. Yeah. We have our answer. 1941. Yes, correct. Toss up. Developed in China, it has now been downloaded more than a billion times outside of China. Victory. TikTok. Yes. <laughs> Name these countries that the United States Treasury Department monitors financial sanctions against. A. Daniel Ortega spent almost 20 years as president of this Central American nation. American nation. Honduras. Um, is that it? it is one. We have our answer. Honduras. I'm sorry, Nicaragua? B. It still sanctions some groups in this African nation even though its former dictator Robert Mugabe is dead. We have our answer, Niger. I'm sorry, Zimbabwe would be that answer. And last, this Middle Eastern nation's Prime Minister, Saad Hariri, suddenly quit in October 2019. We have our answer, Iran. I'm sorry, Lebanon would have been that answer. 
And we'll continue with toss-ups. Considered the most conservative member of the United States Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit Court at the time he was nominated for his current job, his conduct in high school was discussed during his confirmation hearings. Patrick Henry. Brett Kavanaugh. That's right. We'll talk about regular pentagons for your bonus. A pentagon can be divided into this number of congruent triangles. Three, two. Congruent. You make three. 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 We have our answer, three. I'm sorry, 10 would be that answer. Right. Each vertex of a pentagon mm -hmm. is the center of an angle with this measure. 135. 135? We have our answer, 135. No, I'm sorry, 180 times 3 fifths, that's 108 degrees. See, the area of a pentagon is about equal to 1.72 S uh, squared, where S is the side length. To the nearest integer, give the area of a pentagon with sides 5 inches. Five inches. Um, Forty-five. We have our answer, I defer to you. <coughs> 43. Be more specific. Inches. 43 inches. No. Squared. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. We have to take your answer. 43 okay. inches squared. You have to answer that. That's the next funny. toss up for either team. His children, his court, and his second wife have each been the subject of historical books by British author Alison Weir. Name this 16th century British monarch whose wives have been the subject and to Patrick Henry. Henry VIII? Yes. For your bonus, name these western states from its tourist attractions advertised at getoutpass.com. Get A, Treasure Valley Skate and Meriden Speedway. Mm. I've seen them. going to be California. Yeah. Nevada. 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 Sounds like Nevada. We have our answer in Nevada. I'm sorry, Idaho. Ooh, okay. B, the Whale Muse uh, Museum at Friday Harbor and Seattle University Baseball. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what. Washington. Washington? Washington. I wonder what it we have our answer. Washington. Oh, that's right. And C. Dixie State University Sports, the Lagoon Amusement Park, and Provo Beach. Sounds like Virginia. Yeah, Virginia. But Western. 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 West Virginia. Okay. Western. Where's the, Western. Western. Sure. Um, we have our answer. California. No, I'm sorry. Provo would be Utah on that uh, one. Western. Thank you. Right. And we'll yeah. continue for either team now. Created for the increase and diffusion of knowledge, this organization includes the Renwick, Freer, and Sackley Art Galleries, as well as the National Postal Museum, National Museum of Natural History, and National Zoo. And we go to Patrick Henry. Smithsonian. That's right. Language arts for your bonus. Give each of these homographs or words spelled the same that have multiple pronunciations and meanings. To make a shoe shine brightly, or the adjective for people from Krakow. Polish, Polish, yeah. Polish, Polish and Polish. And Polish. Polish. Polish and Polish. Polish, Polish and Polish. Polish. The other way I'm going to defer to you. We have our answer. I defer to Theo. Polish and Polish. Yes. I was going to get to plant out. seeds or a female so. pig. So or sow. 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 I can say that sow one. Or sow. We have our answer. So or sow. Yes. I can do that. C. A chronically ill person or an adjective meaning without legal force. Um, ill. Decrepit and no, um, without standing. Um, we have our answer: decrepit and decrepid. <laughs> <laughs> Invalid or invalid uh, would have been that yeah. one. And we'll go to science for the next one. Lenz law causes the negative sign in this law. One way to write this law is a changing magnetic field within a loop creates an induced current due to a voltage within the circuit. Identify the specific one of Maxwell's equations, the only one named for a British scientist. That would be called Faraday's Law. Next toss-up. In Judges chapter 5, she sings a song of triumph with Barak after they defeat the Canaanites. Patrick Henry. Deborah. Yes. All right. Name the states that saw these Revolutionary War battles. A, the capture of Fort Ticonderoga. That's in the New south. No, that's up in the north. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. it's New York, I believe. New York? We have our answer, New York. Correct. Yeah, Second yeah. Battle of Trenton. New Jersey. New, Jersey. New, Jersey. New, Jersey. New Jersey. We have our answer, New Jersey. Good. And the Battle of Brandywine. Oh, that's right. south. That's, I, I think it's it's Oregon. west. It's one of the western ones. Ohio? No, no, no go like Tennessee. 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 We have our answer, Tennessee. A Pennsylvania would have been that answer. Oh, Thank Pennsylvania. you. We still have five minutes left, so we'll continue with the next toss up. Born in Roman Britain, he was sold into slavery at the age of 16, but returned to Britain six years later after converting to Christianity. And we go to victory. St. Patrick. Yes. 
literature here for, for your bonus. After her husband died and left her with six children in New Orleans, she moved back to her native St. Louis and began a career as an author. Name this writer whose best known character is probably Edra Pontelier. We have our answer, Jane Eyre. I'm sorry, uh, Kate Chopin would have been that answer. Name Chopin's best known novel, which ends with Edna walking into the Gulf of Mexico. If it's the best known, how do I not know? We have our answer, The Silver Strand. The Awakening would have been that answer. In her short story, The Story of an Hour, Louise is happy at first that her husband has died, only to die herself when she discovers this truth. She killed him. We have our answer. We have no answer. <laughs> That's okay. Her husband is still alive. <laughs> Oh. And we'll go to the next toss-up. As a young man, he considered pro volleyball as a career, but switched sports after seeing videos of Hall of Famer Hakeem Olajuwon. He played basketball for a year at Kansas before leaving school and experiencing several major foot injuries in his early days as a professional. Can you name this native of Cameroon, who is now a, a star center for the Philadelphia 76ers? And we go to Patrick Henry. Joel Embiid. Yes. For your bonus, we'll use a pencil and paper. A circle has a radius of seven units. Can you find the area of the circle in terms of pi? 49, 49 pi, 49 pi, pi squared, so yeah. Unit squared, 49 pi units squared. We have our answer, 49 pi units squared. Perfect, good. Right. Find the circumference of the circle in terms of pi. 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14 pi, 14 units. Pi, units. units. Yeah, yeah. We have our answer, 14 pi units. Yes. Right. Draw a chord AC whose central angle is 90 degrees. In square root form, how long is the chord? It'd be a quarter of 14, so... 14 square 14, so uh, square root of... We have our answer, I defer to Theo. No. Uh, no good. units. Uh, seven root two units would have been that answer. Good Thank answer. you. Go to Andrew for that. You had it first. For other team now, after being captured by the British in the War of 1812, he supervised the Cherokee Indian migration, and we go to Patrick Henry. Andrew Jackson. No. I'm sorry, I'll continue, Victory. Along the, uh, let's see, he uh, supervised the Cherokee Indian migration along the Trail of Tears. Identify this army general nicknamed Old Fuss and Feathers, whose men entered Mexico City to end the Mexican-American War, but whose 1852 run for president as a Whig came up short against Democrat Franklin Pierce. His name is General Winfield Scott. Your t next toss-up is science. One mole of pentane, C5H12, under combustion becomes carbon dioxide and water. Balance this equation with integer coefficients. That answer is C5H12 plus HO2. His biography includes a chapter on his work at the New Yorker magazine, as well as a chapter on each of his two most famous children's novels. Name this American author of stories about a mouse and a spider. To Patrick Henry. White? Yes, E.B. White. He studied at this Ivy League college, famed for its song, Far Above the Cayugas Waters. Cornell, I think. Cornell? I think. Here's the Ivy one. We have our answer, Cornell. Yes, it is, All Cornell. Right. The Read Aloud Award, now named for White and given to books that are fun to read aloud, was first given to this Judith Schachner book about a big-headed Siamese cat who thinks he's a chihuahua. What? What? Oh, I've read this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh. Um, I don't really remember. I don't know it, dude. I don't know it. We have our answer, The Big-Headed Meow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You may remember Skippy John Jones. Oh. <laughs> Next toss up, this governor of King Ahab's house put his own life in danger by feeding 100 prophets that Ahab's wife Jezebel wanted to kill. What Old Testament man who then followed Elijah's command, and we go to victory. Elijah. No, I'm sorry, I'll keep going. Who then followed Elijah's command to tell Ahab where Elijah was, shares his name with a prophet whose book later in the Old Testament is the shortest book in the Bible by number of verses. And we go to Henry. 
Ezekiel? No, I'm sorry, Obadiah would have been that one. Thank you to both teams, and we'll turn it over to Clark. Thank you, Mark. Well, in this case, the battle between David and Goliath, the victory went to Goliath. Uh, Patrick Henry has a score of 330. They have more than 2,000 students in their high school. Victory Christian Academy has a score of 80, and you have about eight more students than that, I think, in your high school. So anyway, I have a grandson who just turned 11 and plays every sport there is. You win some, you lose some, but we always ask him as soon as the competition is over, did you have a good time? I have the feeling that everybody competing here this evening had a good time and they played a great match, and that's kind of what it's all about, too. Thank you very much for joining us. Tune in again next time for more Academic League action here on ITV. Students?